Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at a functional equation. We have f of 2x plus 1 minus f of 2x minus 1 equals x squared and we're going to be evaluating the value of f of 7 minus f of 1. Now can we find f of x? That's a good question. Now let's think about it. Could f be a polynomial? If f is a polynomial what kind of polynomial should it be? For example we're subtracting two f values and we're getting a quadratic. So is f quadratic or cubic? Let's test out some quadratic function. For example, what if f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? When you evaluate f of 2x plus 1, you're just going to replace x with 2x plus 1. So it's going to be this. c is not going to change. And then from that, let's go ahead and subtract f of 2x minus 1. Very similarly. And this is supposed to equal x squared. Is that possible? Let's test it out. Well, you're going to realize probably right away that when you subtract these two expressions, the x squared is going to cancel out. So you're going to end up with no x squared. So that's not going to work. What happened? The x squared cancels out. So here's what I'm thinking. Can f be a cubic function, right? So f of x could possibly be something like this, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And then I can just go ahead and test it out. But nobody told us that f is a polynomial. If it works, then there are polynomial solutions. But again, that doesn't mean all the solutions are polynomials. There might be other solutions. So instead of trying to find f of x here, I'm going to use a different approach because what we need to find, we can evaluate directly without actually finding f of x. By the way, f of x is defined, let's say, from reals to reals. I guess that would work. Let's see what we can do about it. So, re one more time, I'm going to write the equation. So, I have f of 2x plus 1 minus f of 2x minus 1 equals x squared. So, and I need to find f of 7 minus f of 1. Now, if they asked us for f of 7 minus maybe f of something else, you could find it easily. But here's the thing. One thing I want you to notice that 7 and 1 are both odd numbers. And guess what? 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 are also odd numbers if x is an integer. Nobody said x is an integer, but why not, right? So in order to be able to get f of 7 minus f of 1, I could just kind of start off with something like this. I'm going to get f of 7, so why not replace x with 3, right? Because that's going to give me f of 7. So if I replace x with 7, I get f of, I mean, if I replace x with 3, then I get f of 7 minus f of 5 equals 3 squared, which is 9. Awesome. But not so awesome because I don't need f of 7 minus f of 5. I need f of 7 minus f of 1. So is there any way I can get rid of f of 5 or the negative f of 5? And yes, there's a way to do it because 5 is an odd number. I can replace x with 2. And, of course, in my original equation, if I replace x with 2, then I get f of 5 minus f of 3, 2 times 2 minus 1, equals 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Awesome. But not that awesome because now we get a negative f of 3. We need to get rid of that too. So why not replace x with 1 now? So we're kind of going down here. There's a pattern, right? And this is going to give us, when you replace x with 1 here, you're going to get f of 3 minus f of 1 equals 1 squared, which is 1. Now, we got the f of 1, so we need to stop because if we don't stop, then we're going to go down to f of negative 1, f of negative 3, so on and so forth. You don't want that. So let's go ahead and stop here and evaluate. So we're going to add it, we're going to add these three equations because f of 5 is going to cancel out, f of 3 is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with f of 7 minus f of 1, which is what we need. And that is going to equal 1 plus 4 plus 9, which is equal to 14. Again, uh, let me repeat my question. Can we find f of f, f of x? That's a good question. Can we find non-polynomial solutions or polynomial solutions to this? Again, good questions. 
And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.